A Battlefield Premium Service has just been announced. It'll cost you 50 US dollars, and some of the stuff you get in it is custom dog ta tags and then custom knives. And then it also said you get all the new DLC maps for Battlefield 3 for free if you pay for the service. So they said it's $75 worth of content for 50 bucks, so you're basically saving 25 bucks. So that was pretty cool. It says you'll have er, exclusive entries to, to Double XP Weekend, so basically what I'm getting from this is say they have four um, of the Double XP Weekends uh, announced, and the and then normal members only get two, maybe you get four, something like that. It also says if you buy the service on PS3, you get it before Xbox and PC, so I thought that was pretty cool. Halo 4 single player footage has just been released. There's a new four legged enemy type. The enemies will also travel in packs. There's a new vehicle that Master Chief calls the Reclaimer. Splinter Cell Blacklist has been announced. Sam Fisher returns and is placed into a dangerous rain along the Iran-Iraq border. The combat is fast, furious, and brutal. Fisher uses melee and post gunpoint to take out the enemies. The Xbox 360 version also uses Kinect. The teams will be on multiplayer will be Spies vs. Mercs. Gears of War Judgment has officially been revealed, and all that's been really said other than some footage, I think. I think that's what it is. The game will be available in 2013, so you uh, hardcore Gears of War fans will have to wait till 2013 to play the next Gears of War game. Forza Horizon will be coming in October. The next installment of Forza Motorsports will hit stores on October 23rd, 2012. It was originally announced back in March, so about two months difference. No, three months almost. New entertainment options coming to the Xbox 360. Microsoft is partnering with four new video services that, it, that include the following. Nickelodeon, Paramount, Machinima, and Univision. I don't even know what Univision is, so it's kind of weird to me. They revealed Xbox Music. A music system for the, the Xbox that will feature over 30 million tracks, so that's a whole lot of tracks. Microsoft has announced Xbox Smart Glass. The technology allows users to sync up the entertainment viewing across multiple devices. Users can begin watching the movie on a tablet, smartphone, or cellular device, pause at any time, and resume on their Xbox when they get home. You can see gameplay stats, for instance, when you're playing Halo 4, you can check it out and you can see what your stats are in Halo 4 while you're playing. So if you want to tell your friends quickly, there you go. It launches this fall on Windows 8 and Xbox 360. Internet Explorer is coming to the Xbox 360. Microsoft Internet Explorer will be coming to Xbox 360 this fall. They have shown a Tomb Raider demo. The demo showed Lara Croft sneaking up on enemies and taking them out, using bows and arrows to shoot them, of course, and then using zip lines to travel quickly across plains. Well, you know, across the mountains, because that's where she is. The first downloadable will be available on Xbox 360. Dance Central 3 has been revealed. The songs that will be included in this game are 50 Cent's In The Club, Cali Swag Districts, Teach Me How To Dougie, Teach Me, Teach Me How To Dougie, you know that song. Cobra Starship Feet Savvy, You Make Me Feel, E.U.Dabut, Edward Maya, and Vika Giga Yuluni, I think. Stereo Love, Gloria Gaynor on I Will Survive, Marcia Griffiths Electric Movie, Usher Feet Will I Am's OMG, Usher's Scream, Van McCoy's The Hustle. It will support full body dancing through Kinect, and multiplayer mode will feature up to 8 people. Dead Space 3. The game will include a new character called John Carver. And they have confirmed drop in drop out co-op like I said a few weeks ago. And they said it also will be taking set on an ice planet. It will have explorable environments, massive bosses, and hostile environments. It will hit stores in February 2013. Aftermath DLC announced for Battlefield 3. Aftermath is a survival-themed DLC map pack that will be coming out in December 2012. New content coming to the Old Republic MMO. You'll be getting a new playable species, another space mission, an increased level cap with added class abilities, a new planet called Macab with more story questing content, an HK51 companion character, and an additional PvP war zone, as well as an operation. A dungeon difficulty called Nightmare will be which will give players a new difficulty to play on. Starting July, you'll be able to play up to level 15 for free. New Medal of Honor Warfighter game has been shown, and there is some gameplay on the internet, so go check that out. Just Dance 4 will be released in October 2012 for Wii, 
Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and will support Kinect. And also it'll be on Move. A Wii U version will be released in the console's window, so around when the console comes out, that's when it'll be released. Some of the songs are Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe, Rihanna's Disturbia, Flo Rida's Good Feeling, Nelly Furtado's Man Eater, Maroon 5 feed Christina Aguilera, Moves Like Jagger, Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up, The B-52's Rock Lobster, Pink's So What, Nick Nicki Minaj's Super Bass, Barry White's You're the First, the Last, My Everything, One Direction and What Makes You Beautiful, and Will Smith's Wild Wild West, Rain Man Legend has been announced for Wii U only. This game will allow up to five players, and is the follow-up of last year's Rayman Origins. Avengers Battle for Earth has been shown. The trailer showed Spider-Man, Wolverine, Storm, Captain America, Hawkeye, Hulk, and Black Widow. So, for you people with Wii U, you guys, well no, when you have the Wii U, you guys hopefully will be excited for the next Avengers game, called Avengers Battle for Earth. Assassin's Creed 3. Oh man, good game. They added hunting to the game, which is going to be interesting. They rebuilt the fighting from the ground up, so basically what that means is that Connor, who is main character, will be able to use multiple weapons at once, not just one. Or in Assassin's Creed 2, you, you just use double like that. You have, like, fighting is like boom. So, yeah. The HUD has been dramatically simplified, so basically what that means is not everything on the screen, everything. It's basically just uh, simplified so it's easier to see the guy and everything I take from that. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale will be coming to the Vita. Now, the characters that have, well, some new characters that have been confirmed for PlayStation Battle Royale will include Nathan Drake and Bioshock's own Big Daddy, so that's going to be a good game. Assassin's Creed Liberation Bundle has been announced for the Vita. It will take place in New Orleans in the 18th century. It will be releasing October 30th, 2012, so everybody with the Vita, you better get that game because it's probably going to be really fun. Need for Speed Most Wanted has been revealed. It's an open world racing game where players can drive anywhere, race anywhere, race against rivals, and mess around with the cops, which is always fun. It will launch October 30th in North America and November 1st in Europe for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PC, and Vita. Also mobile. Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified is coming to the Vita. No really information about that, but another call. They said Call of Duty was coming to the Vita, so cool. God of War Ascension, of course, is already announced. And it'll be releasing March 12th, 2013, so all you God of War fanboys and everything, go, you have to wait a little year, which kind of sucks for you guys. But, I hope it's going to be really good, and it probably will, because all those God of War games are usually really good. And last, but certainly not least, The Last of Us. There was a gameplay demo shown for Last of Us. And there's a lot of information about it, so if you want to go uh, know all that information, go check out the videos, the articles, and everything. So, yeah, that was basically it for the, the E3 press conferences. I got most of the information. If you guys liked it all, click the like button. If you like my content, click subscribe. Of course, like, why would you not click subscribe? It's, like, obvious, so click right up there, I think. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll stay tuned later for when I do the Day 2 stuff, because this is Day 1 for the press conferences.